Uh, but he's going to go in for the coin flip. Probably going to call tails. Oh, he called heads and won it? Ah, it sucks. Oh, well. Anyway, boys, we going in here with this Zatu dot deck. Uh, trying to use this deck in standard instead of like dual blade expanded. It is very interesting because you do not have the same access to the expanded tools, of course, if you're playing standard. Um, no poison, no insta poison, which is really the hard sell here. It's the tough one. But we're going to try to make it work here in standard. There's a couple of nifty things you can do. Like we got Shrine, Mew, and even Giratina to help us get that extra damage on the Z with the Zatu. Uh, the Zatu, of course, being it's a coin flip. And if you get heads, then you put them down to 10 HP. But of course, we're playing, we're playing Will. So Will allows you to guarantee heads. Seems 10 out, it's a 10 out of 10 idea. It's a 10 out of 10 idea. Now it's just a matter of actually getting it to work. Which uh, is real questionable. I'm not going to lie. It's a pretty questionable idea. But it's good against decks like this where they're playing big, thick, beefy GXs that'll just like die instantly to that type of stuff. These type of shenanigans that we play. Uh, but we're hopeful here. We're hopeful that we can pull this off. Uh, he's playing Braxy and Charizard as well in this Mew box. Seems legit, seems legit. I like it. Cherish Ball for Dede, possibly. Hey, we're so good at the game that we can call it. Ah, no, nah, it's not hard of a call, honestly. So he's gonna Dede change, get a fresh hand of six. Then you get rid of, got rid of switch, labs. I don't know about that one, Chief. I, well, I guess he can't play it this turn, so it's like whatever, and a fire energy, okay. But um, at least we're going to be able to have our, our our escape boards and all that. Still going to be active. Feels good. All right. Here we go. What are we going to do now? Well, well we're going to play the Ditto. And I'm going to see what I get off this Acro bike. Whew. Treasure. That's gas. Get rid of that. Get another not to. And then we're gonna play that. Play the Mew. Play Great Catcher. Drop these two. Go for the other Mew Mew. And then we're gonna empty hand Lily for eight. Looking good, boys. Looking real good. So then we're going to play the Jirachi. We can still, we can still Viridian as well. Uh, so we got the two treasures for next turn. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to skateboard, switch into the Jirachi, and then see what we can get off of this. Get another will, I guess. Uh, do we really need it, though? Sure, why not? Maybe he just doesn't bother to read it. It's kind of what I'm hoping for. Uh, we'll drop treasure. We'll get rid of the Tina. And I guess we'll go for Zatu. And I can still attach return. Feels good, man. So we'll attach right there. And we'll pass it back. Now, the thing is, obviously, because we had to use the escape board here, uh, can't use the escape board on Jirachi, but I'm just kind of assuming that the Jirachi is going to die at this point. Just based off the nature of the deck we're playing against, obviously, being Mew Mew. Oh, he thinks Jirachi's going to help him? He thinks I do damage? No, 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 I do damage counters, sir. Unfortunate. Jirachi doesn't do anything. If anything, it helps me.
I mean, unless you can somehow stack uh, three Psychic on. I don't know. Like, he stacks three Psychic on and he uses that GX. Uh, that could get that could get interesting. Because I'm pretty sure it wouldn't allow me to use um, Life Drain. I don't think Life Drain would work against that. But somehow I don't see him doing that. For some reason, I don't think he read not to. Because I still, I still get to do my thing. It's not damage. Hmm. It's actually pretty 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 hand here. So we're going to do that. The Stellar Wish. Oh, see, we got the Shrine and everything. We just, uh, no switch out. No switch out allowed. We're going to grab the Shrine. We're not going to play it, though. We don't need it. Oh, I'm gonna drop that. Drop the treasure. Ugh, grab the Zatu. Uh, I don't wanna do that. Pass it back. Of course we're gonna stay sleeping. gonna search naga i mean it's cool man we got the bench barrier it's fine it's fine <laughs> all right guys he doesn't want energy all right so he's gonna manually attach Ah, uh, he's stuck, but we so are we, because we can't switch, because we bad. Stellar Wish, come on, give us something. Alright, you know what, Acro Bike, we need to... <laughs> we need to get this other escape board that I might not even have. Come on! Uh, sure, I guess Poke Gear. Uh, Lily, shh. Sure, why not? Yo, Lily for two, I don't care. Rosa, you know what? <sighs> Whatever, man. <sighs> sure, we're gonna get rid of Cynthia here. We're gonna wake up eventually. Come on. Come on, Drachi. You're gonna wake up eventually, right? Of course! What is that? Like five, six turns in a row now that we haven't waken, woken up from Jirachi? Something like that is crazy, man. Yo, what's this Will Kavoy coin flip nonsense? Aye, right, this is Alex's idea. Not mine. Um, but here we go. This is Natu. So you flip a coin. If Eds, you put damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon until its remaining HP is 10. And then Will obviously makes it so you can guarantee it to be heads. I don't know why he wants to build it in standard. We make it happen here on table 500. You know what I'm saying? I don't judge. It is base. It's basically a dual blade in standard, except for it's way worse because you can't guarantee the damage with poison. So we gotta get creative. Although it looks like, speaking of getting creative, it looks like we're about to get dunked on here. Wait, did he manually attach this turn here? That or last turn? Switch. Hopefully he didn't... Yeah, it looks like we're about to get dunked on by cross division. All because fucking Jirachi won't wake up. Brilliant Flare? Oh, pshh. You know <laughs> cool. Actually, he just played himself. I, this boy don't read. Alright, so he's going to search for three freebies. Uh, I think that's what it does. Yeah. 
You just search us for three cards. That's fine. Counter gain consideration? Yes, we do have one of. Uh, it wasn't in the original list, but I definitely said 10. After playing like two games with it, I said absolutely we need to put counter gain. We only have it in as a one of right now. Because the recycle energy helps us with the energy costs, if you will. Recycle energy to just bounce back to hand and you just put it back down. It's pretty good. Uh, but here we go. You're going to see the magic happen. We're going to drop the shrine on him. Could drop the will on him. Attach the energy. And then we got the life drain. We're going to call heads. We're going to get lucky. Lucky. Hit the heads. Shrine damage ticks. Get the knockout. Three prizes for us. Let's go. One. Come on. We need to... Okay, Zatu doesn't really help us. Uh, two. Acrobike. Eh. Three. Switch out. Oh, those are all kind of bad, honestly, for prizes. Uh, but he's definitely going to revenge knock us here. Definitely going to revenge knock us. But the cool thing is, is because he revenge knocks us, we don't get this recycle energy back. Which is pretty 10 out of 10, if you ask me. So you're going to stack all four of these things on. Uh, then he's going to Brilliant Flare, probably, just to guess. Tina is in discard, so we are good to go in a way. Unfortunately, Tina doesn't touch touch the active, but uh, uh, so he's got to search his thing. We're gonna get our we're gonna get our energy back. So here's the play. The play is to go Zatu. Yeah, the play is to go Zatu. We're gonna. Play the we're gonna get play the Rosa. Yeah, we're gonna play yeah, we're gonna play the Blizzard Town as well. Um and we got this, boys. I think we got this. As long as we can as long as we can get another well, we got Rosa, so we can get we can get another energy at some point. So it doesn't matter. So we got the energy back. He can take his prize, it's fine. The the problem is is we're gonna get cucked by cross division. Like, Cross Division's gonna 10 out of 10 destroy us. Because we kind of need Mew here. Uh, we're gonna pull this active here. Uh, if we'll play Zatu. Recycle Energy. Actually, I'm gonna see what we get off this Acro Bike first. Yeah, so uh, that ain't it. That ain't it, boys. That ain't it. That ain't it. Uh, but it's fine. It's fine. We're gonna play well. Play well. Uh, then Blizzard Town. I have a hard time believing he didn't search for a stadium at some point. Uh, but it's fine. We're still gonna life drain. Pick heads. And, um, I don't know, I guess hopefully he doesn't get smart and knock out Mew and try to win. Well, no, he can't because Blizzard Town, but like if he, he's going to probably knock this off. Let's face it. Like he, he got to search for three cards. There's, there's no way he didn't think. Well, I mean, Blizzard Town's so random. He might've just, just like, you know, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if he's a good player or not. Because if he's a good player, he absolutely should have searched for a stadium. But who knows, man? Who knows, man? Blizzard Town is so like 
2 out of 10, like, who would have never thought? Like, of all things, maybe I could play. Right. I think Acrobike, that tells me he absolutely didn't have it. Now, the thing is, is we're hoping what we're hoping for here is that he just goes for the knockout on Natu. He doesn't hit the welder. He doesn't hit anything like that. You know, what I mean, he has to hit the stadium and all that stuff, welder, etc. Which again, he searched for. He has to have it, in my professional opinion. He's, uh, he's not doing anything, though. Oh, my God, he whiffed it. Guys, we did it. We did it. Let's go. There's the Mew. Psy power. One. Doesn't matter. Two, three, four, whatever. Cool. Knockout. Three prize game. The Blizzard Town. Blizzard Town. Town done did it for us, boys. We got the dub against against that welder box, Mew box here. That was pretty sweet. Not gonna lie. Woo! <clears throat> All right, we are back here with the deck list for the Zatu coin flip dot deck. We got the one ditto, one blitzel to go along with the two Zeb Strikers, which is our main draw engine in the deck. Ditto, of course, can also become a fifth Natu to evolve into Zatu if we need it. We also have two Jirachis just to help us get our items. We have, of course, the four for Natu line, Zatu line here, where you go with Life Drain, main feature of the deck. When you flip coin, if heads, you put damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon till its HP is 10. So we do that. We guarantee our heads with Will, which is a supporter that allows you to just pick the result of your first coin flip. So we guarantee that the opponent goes down to 10 damage. Now, unlike Expanded, where you have things like Hypnotoxic Laser or Area Dose to help you get that extra poison damage, the only thing in Standard that can do that is Koga's Trap, which is a supporter, which we're not trying to do. Because, you know, we're not trying to go Surge, Will, and do all that. Now, that's too much work. So we have other ways, much more creative. So one of these creative outlets is Shrine of Punishment. So if you hit a GX with this, with this attack, with this combo here, with the Life Drain Will combo, you hit them with the Shrine of Punishment as well, it's just an insta-kill, which is really, really nice. You also have Mew, which not only helps you protect against bench damage, it also can ping things that are on the, the, that either retreat or that you can't kill. So you get three damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon any way you like. And it's only one energy, so that's a really good value. Uh, another way you can ping things is by using Giratina's Distortion Door. So when you have Giratina in the discard pile, you just bring it onto your bench, and then you take knockouts that way if they decide to switch out. Now you're saying, oh, if they don't decide to switch out, what do you do? Well, another thing you can do is you have Blizzard Town. Pokemon with 40 HP or less remaining can't attack. So a lot of times what people will do is if they can't attack, they'll just retreat. And then they try to retreat, you ping them. Another thing you have here is Spell Tag. So you get your psychic Pokemon knocked out, you ping them with four damage counters, and you can take knockouts that way as well. Of course, we got Nico Fast, so we got the four Acro Bike, as well as the three Poke Gears to help us search for our four Cynthia's, two Lilies, and one Rosa. Rosa is a really nice new card. Uh, we're still testing it. I'm not 100% sold on her. You could cut her for really anything else. Uh, we also have two great catchers. So that if somebody's sitting on a single prize attacker and they have something in the back that you want to hit, you can go ahead and do that. You got your four mysterious treasures because most of the deck is searchable by treasure. Uh, you got your two switches to help with your Jirachi, same with the skateboard. And then finally, we got the one counter gain so that if we happen to be down on prizes, which by the way, you're going to be down a lot with this deck, you get to attack for one energy.
one psychic energy by the way i made that mistake before where i attached a recycle energy to something that already had something that had counter gain on it that don't work it only only takes away your colorless so you have to actually attach the psychic to it but still still very good utility to have on board and then you, of course our energy lineup is two recycle energy and six psychic if you like the deck list boys don't forget to hit the like button follow us on twitch the link will be in the description down below as well as subscribe to our youtube channel to see more videos like this so next time i've been derek for table 500 and i will see you in the next one peace